Hi again, everyone. Bill Sheridan with the Maryland Association of CPAs here, back again to talk a little bit more about XBRL today. Uh, we spent a lot of time recently talking about the benefits of using XBRL for public companies, for private companies, uh, for governments, and even for auditors. But what about accounting educators and their students? Are there any benefits to bringing XBRL into the classroom? Um, well, let's travel to Kennesaw State University in Georgia for the answer to that question. Uh, in addition to all the other stuff he has to teach his students, accounting and information systems professor Ernest Capazzoli has been kind of shoehorning XBRL into the curriculum there, um, and he's been doing that for a number of years now. He's run into some challenges, but he's also seen some remarkable benefits as well. And Exhibit A is a former student of his by the name of Jeff Petka. Jeff is an accountant with Southern Company. That's an Atlanta-based energy company that serves the Southeast. Uh, Jeff's job focuses mainly on XBRL and financial reporting, and he says he owes his job pretty much to everything he learned in Capizzoli's classroom. So for all of you accounting students out there who are looking for an edge in the workforce, this might be it. Let's hear Capizzoli and Petka tell their stories. Tell me how long you've been teaching accounting. I've been teaching accounting for right at about 15 years. I retired from the uh, Arabian American Oil Company and uh, I worked as an accountant in that capacity. Okay. And, and how about XBRL? When did you start introducing XBRL into the classroom? Approximately six years ago. Okay. How have the students responded to um, this, this new type of information being implemented into their curriculum? They fell into two buckets. One that viewed it as something they had to survive to get through the course, and the other ones who uh, enjoyed doing it and wanted to do more. What kind of challenges have you encountered along the way as you've, if you've, as, as you've implemented this? this uh, the challenges are, first of all, in, in, at, the, at the global level, accounting curriculums are, are crammed with uh, required courses to meet uh, the demands of the industry and consequently uh, introducing new material means that something else has to be given up. So it's always a, there's always a tension in terms of what you're going to deliver material-wise. That's at the, at the big level, that's for all schools. And uh, the second one would be the uh, fact that you have to have an XBRL tool which means that the professor has to sink a large amount of their time into learning a software package. And that, uh, that's, that's a hefty commitment. Going back to the, the first challenge that you, that you mentioned, uh, how do you get around that, uh, you know, the, the, the challenge of, of having a certain number of required courses and having to kind of shoehorn something else into that? Well, for us at Kennesaw State, we did not have a dedicated XBRL course. We, we integrated it into the basic accounting information systems class, the advanced financial reporting class, and the international class. Okay. From your perspective, what do you think the benefits are for your students to be learning this new, I guess you call it a technology, but this new, this new curriculum uh, in addition to all the required courses that they have to take? Well, there's a couple of advantages. The first one is it's a, it's a differentiator in the, in the marketplace. A student who can say with confidence on their, on their resume that they have created XBRL instance documents puts them ahead of probably 95% of the, the graduating students in, in Masters of Accounting programs. So that's, that's, that's a, the first thing, is, is that differentiator. The other one is, is that uh, there presents itself as, as we march down this path of, of uh, implementation the need for those skills over the next one to two years will become uh, of key importance to organizations. And uh, uh, speaking of differentiators, Jeff, uh, why don't you uh, tell us your story briefly? What has having this background uh, meant to you in your career? It's actually meant a great deal. Uh, I first uh, took the class with uh, Dr. Capizzoli. I've never, I didn't hear what XBRL was. And um, so I, I began learning about it, and one day um, at work, I was walking down the hall with my boss, 
And at that time, uh, we were level one filer, and we were just fi tagging our financials using uh, Rivet software, Dragon Tag, and um, that was the same software I was using in class. And I glanced over at, in the uh, in the meeting room, and I said, "Oh wow, Dragon Tag! I know what that is." You know, and suddenly they they were taken back, surprised. Like, you know what Dragon Tag is? I was like, "Yeah, I've been you know working with it in uh, in class." And suddenly my inbox was flooded with meeting requests and, you know, we're, we're tagging XBRL, can you, you know, can you show us our, uh, um, any knowledge uh, that, that you have, you know, you know help. So um, it's actually um, improved my, uh, my career, I, I think, I think uh, exponentially because uh, it's, it's given me a niche in the company and um, a very valuable niche to where I can, you know, help them, uh, uh, you know, uh, use XBRL and as much as it's grown. And I've been able to kind of take over the XBRL side um, in Southern Company and, uh, and, help, and help that grow. So it be directly from the classroom related right to my job. It, it was... And actually, in the very beginnings, when we were learning Dragon Tag, we had some questions of, you know, wait, how would we do this and how would we do that? And I said, hold on, I got a class on Wednesday, I'll ask Dr. Capazzoli. <laughs> and I'd go and we, you know, discuss it in class, I'd come back right at work and say, okay, we can try this and do this, you know, and it would, it would directly correlate. It was, it was amazing, you know. What a fantastic advantage that is. What, what, uh, what advice would you give students today who, um, you know, who are either studying this stuff or maybe considering it, what, what kind of advice would you have for them as far as, you know, applying this stuff to? Oh, um, well, obviously, XBRL is not going away. It's, it's just growing. And, uh, and because it's still relatively new, um, any type of experience or education that you can uh, involve yourself with XBRL is, is extremely valuable. Just to be able to put it on your resume, I mean, I feel that the knowledge and experience that I've had over the over the years working with XBRL, plus the uh, education that I received, um, you know, I feel that uh, I'm I'm very valuable to a company. And anytime you know, I feel when you're working for a company, you want to have that that value. Uh, and so, for any any upcoming students or you know any upcoming professionals, get into that because that's a niche. That that is something that a lot of people don't have that experience and. Uh, and if you're able to get that experience, you just put yourself a little bit ahead on a resume and, and, and able to uh, get that job. That's fantastic. Uh, and, and Dr. Capazzoli, uh, how about you? Um, any advice for uh, educators out there who are thinking of injecting XBRL into their classrooms? I would say don't underestimate the commitment in terms of intellectual and emotional commitment to, to develop the skills so that when a student asks the question, you can either answer it or know where to find it. And that's not a trivial undertaking in today's world because the, um, the SEC requirements are sometimes confusing if you, if you follow the Edgar Fodder manual and the software tools are getting more sophisticated and therefore you have to sink a lot of time in understanding the tool and that in some educators' eyes, may not be a, a value-add proposition. They're sitting there saying, I, I'm doing just fine with my course right now, and I really don't need to introduce six hours of new stuff, but I might have to spend hundreds of hours learning how to deliver successfully. That's, and I would say, do it. Learn it. That, that's definitely got to be a challenge for you to, to, to I mean, it's almost like a, an entire new round of education for you as well to learn something brand new like it's this. A, it's been a disruptor in the educational community from from the accounting standpoint but it's more than just accounting it's it's also a blend of other activities that uh, I think managers need to be aware of it. the uh, the management of a company needs to understand what this means and you can't do that through abstraction or being three steps removed you, you have to really understand that that what the people in an organization have to do to create that filing in an XBRL format. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Well, thank you.